Well, the Borderlands movie is such an awful video game adaptation, which is ironic considering that this one it could have ended up being good, but it's just that forgetful with boring characters, lack of a strong plot, and of course character development, and just being overall just not worth the effort. Even if you're a fan of this video game franchise, stay far away from this one because believe me, this one is not worth the time. Man, I bet the video games is 10 times better than what the hell this movie tried to be. So mainly the story of this is that an outlaw named Willow, she forms an alliance with a group of misfits in order to save a missing girl. Man, what in the hell was this film? Because I did not have an entertaining time. In fact, I want it to be over not even 30 minutes into this, just because how forgetful this whole thing really is. The character's motivations is lackluster, the story is weak, and when it was all said and done, I was like, that's it. A 90 minute adventure that is generic, nothing really exciting happens here, and it's basically dollar store Guardians of the Galaxy. And at the end of the day, this one is certainly not worth my time ever again. Seriously, this movie is so bad, it brought me back to the days of the Uwe Boll era. You remember him? When he made some of the worst video game movies of all time? I should know, I reviewed like four of his films. But the main problem with this is that even though I don't know anything about the video game franchise, like my knowledge is basically 0%, I still found this one utterly atrocious. Like, all the actors here, well most of them I should say, they felt bored. I mean, Kate Blanchett, she seemed like she didn't want to be there given a mundane performance. And then we have a cast that this film had, such as, well, Jamie Lee Curtis, who really doesn't add nothing here. Like, I'm starting to think that maybe most of these actors got paid big money just to be in this. If anything, the actor with the most charisma is Kevin Hart. And I know he gets a lot of negativity from his fans. I'm not a big fan myself of his movies, but at least he brought something here. Everybody else, they just phoned it in. You know, want to get that paycheck. I don't get how a film like this, which was marketed heavily with a high budget, could turn into such a dumpster fire. Like, this was the longest 90 minutes I've ever been through in like a very long time. I don't have any love for this. I hate it pretty much every second of it. And this is one of the worst movies of the year, in my opinion. Odds are a lot of people are not going to the theater to rush out and see this. Not with Deadpool and Wolverine still in theaters as of this recording. And you know, the thing is, is that this one could have been fun, but it just turned into an absolute bore fest. Yeah, the action scenes, they're all right. The visuals, they look okay. But seriously, what's up with the green screen? Movie studios, they got to fix that. And for fans of the video game franchise, they're probably going to hate this as much as the next movie core is because, well, this one doesn't really offer anything great in my opinion whatsoever. I'm giving this film a 2 out of 10. Yup, this one bored me that much. I just really want the film to be over after 20 minutes. Man, nobody is going to the movie theaters to really see this. And certainly when this comes out on streaming, people are going to skip it altogether because it's nowhere near entertaining compared to some of the other summer movies that have released so far already. And that's my review of Borderlands. All right, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie if you have seen it. Okay, this is Slim Guy 172 saying peace out. Tss.